My favorite science story this week is a bat story. <laughs> That's right. And it's about a fabulous species called the sack-winged bat, Cicopteryx. We already knew these bats were sexy. Now a new study shows they're smart too. Sexy and smart. What else can you ask for? The sack winged bat has that name because males have these deep pockets in their wings just above the elbow. And every day they clean out those wing sacs so they're nice and fresh and tidy. And then they pee into them and also put sperm in them. And then they mix that mixture up in their wing sacs. And then they fly in front of females and shake it on the females so the females can smell how good they smell. It's called salting and it's a whole thing. So this is why I say these bats are sexy. They also have these harems where there's one male with a whole bunch of females, but the females have a guy on the side. Like I'm telling you, this is a great bat to start with, but this new study shows they're even better than we realize because they're smart. Researchers from Germany and Italy wanted to know how well these bats could recognize their friends based on their friends' voices alone. So here's the thing, when you catch a bat, it usually yells at you. The researchers took advantage of that. They caught 10 different individual sack wing bats and recorded the noises that those bats made when they were trying to escape. Here's what those voices sound like. Then the researchers played those calls to an AI system to see if the AI system could differentiate the individual voices of the 10 different bats. And it could. It may sound like just squeaking to you and me, but different bats really do have different voices and the AI system showed that. So if you played a new call from a bat that the AI system had never heard before, it could tell you based on what it's already heard, oh yeah, I recognize that voice. It's kind of like how if you hear Christopher Walken deliver a line, even if you've never heard him say that line before, you still know it's Christopher Walken based on other things he said. At lunch, you're gonna treat yourself to a vanilla ice cream. You're gonna eat it too fast. You're gonna get an ice cream headache. <laughs> it's gonna hurt real bad. Okay, so the bat voices are different enough that it should be possible for bats to differentiate one another theoretically, but now the researchers needed to see if the bats actually could do it. So here's how they figured that out. They went to the roost where the bats were hanging out, and then on this speaker that was hidden around the corner, they played the call of a bat, one of those recordings that they had made earlier. And in response, the bat in the colony would usually go around the corner to see what was going on. But here's the cool part. This is, this is the great part. If they played the call of a bat that wasn't in the roost, then the bat who heard the call would go check it out. But if they played the call of a bat and the bat was home, like right next to the bat that heard it, it would ignore it. It'd be like, I hear Karen around the corner, but Karen's right there, so uh, something's not right. I'm, I'm saying here. So the bats would never leave if they could see the bat that was supposedly calling from around the corner. That means the bats not only recognize individuals, but also they can integrate the bats they can see with the bats they can hear. They know those individuals from their voices and also from the way they look, or, or maybe it's the way that they appear with echolocation, or maybe it's the smell. That's not clear. It's not clear how they recognize individuals in the roost, but whatever that is, they can use that with voices to identify individuals. It's kind of like how if you saw Christopher Walken's face, you would recognize that's the same person who has that voice. So bats are smart, and they're also sexy. I love it. By the way, you know what else is sexy? The other four science stories I included in my weekly newsletter this week. That's right, if you're not signed up to get the bat signal every week, you missed out on 80% of my stories this week. It's free. Sign up. Just go to followthebatsignal.com.